We're joined now from Beirut by Osama Hamdan. He's a foreign affairs spokesman for Hamas. Osama Hamdan, Israel has demonstrated that it is prepared to go on killing Gaza's women and children, civilians generally. Why are you encouraging them by still continuing to fire your ineffective rec rockets into their territory? Well, in fact, the Israelis are killing women, children for six decades and more. They are killing the children and the women from 1948. Everyone remembers the Yassin massacre, Kafar Qasim massacre, Sabra and Shatila massacre. Everyone is remembering that. But and I'm asking still about the, the now. The I'm asking about the now. They are yeah, only, and they are only well, attacking you because you continue to attack them. Your attacks on them well, have virtually no effect except causing hysteria. They are killing well, your children, is, your women, is, by the hundred. Exactly. Exactly. Well, this why is do you their go on firing and rockets And this is then? their mentality. Uh, this is their history and this is their mentality. And everyone knows, and you have to know, that they have started the attack against Gaza before launching any rocket against the Israelis. There was a ceasefire 2012, and the one who violated this fire was the, the Israeli uh, army. Uh, and we uh, said from day number one that we are not willing to have a fight. We are not willing to react against the Israeli attack. And then they bombed houses, killed 11 children and women, injured more than 40 civilians. Mr. Hamdan, then there was Mr. a reaction. Hamdan, then there was, excuse me, then there was it. a reaction. Excuse me. Yeah. No, there is, it's, not, it's not fair to say whoever started, the Palestinians have to stop. It's not fair to ask the Palestinians to give up their necks and threats for the Israelis to slaughter it, it whenever it and all, however they fair, want that. Mr. It's, it, it's, it, fair, it, it's fair. It's fair to make pressure on Israel as yeah. an occupation Ms. Mr. to Hamdan, stop their attack against the civilians. Is it fair to put your women, children, men in the line of fire of the Israelis simply because you will not stop firing your rockets? They are pointless. They're achieving we, nothing. We did not, we did not put the children and the women in the line of fire. In fact, the Israelis are killing the women and children because their soldiers are dying in the field. If you look at the numbers, uh, through that, uh, that fight, more than 60 Israeli soldiers were killed, and all the killing on the Palestinian side was among the civilians. Not true. This you've is had the a number of, yes, You've had a number of your fighters killed coming no. out of the tunnels. In fact, every single one that's exactly. come out of your tunnels exactly. has died. It has been pointless. Now, no, why not stop? Not, no, no, why it's not, not stop Excuse tonight? me. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's not true. You are talking about the Israeli story which is not a story. You are buying the Israeli story and you are not listening to the Palestinians who are suffering, who are being killed, who are under the occupation, who are now feeling very desperate because Netanyahu and destroyed Mr. Hamdan, the political Mr. Hamdan, solution if you stop, and the two-state solution. Mr. He Hamdan. undermined the solution, the political solution. You have to understand the Palestinians. If you are willing to accept the Israeli occupation, have them to occupy your lands and your homeland and welcome them there. Mr. They Hamdan, are not the world to is sympathetic to the, the Palestinian, Palestinian condition in Gaza, but you appear not to be. The world wants to save the women and children in Gaza. It appears you do not want to. If you stopped firing your rockets tonight, you would embarrass Israel into stopping fighting you. This is totally false. We have agreed on a humanitarian ceasefire for several times, and the one who violated the ceasefire was the Israelis every time they violated the ceasefire. And in 2012, there was a ceasefire. The one who violated that was the Israelis using a story of the three settlers, which everyone knows for true that they were killed in a criminal, in a crime yeah. attack. Mr. Hamdan, they we have to restrict ourselves by, to what's excuse going me, on now. Excuse me, you have... Excuse me, you have to understand the facts, not to buy the false story of the Israelis who are occupying the Palestinian Okay, well, here's land, a fact from the United Nations, Mr. Hamdan. Land, which Here is a fact to from the United Nations. God. This is a fact from the United Nations. You have put rockets yeah. and weapons in three of their schools. They admit that. Why? Why are you this putting not, rockets and is, things in schools, me. in hospitals? That's why they get hit. This, this is not a true. When, the, when someone said that, we called for a formation for independent investigation committee 
to investigate about that. And then they said it was not a real story. We are not sure about what was being said. This is what the UN answered. So we are not accepting that. We won't accept to use the schools. I want to, rem to remind you, in 2008... Mr. Hayley, I'm, I'm sorry, we have not got time to go me. back into history. And they, and what the people of Gaza are pleading for is a ceasefire. You don't, you, don't, you don't want to hear the history of the criminals, and you want the Palestinians to accept the crime killing their own people. Osama Hamdan, I'm afraid Ban that... Ban said, excuse me, today Ban Ki-moon said that there is no excuse for bombing the school in Jabalia. That was said by uh, right. Ban Ki-moon today after the Israelis okay. bombed the school. Osama Hamdan, thank you very much indeed for joining us from Beirut. That is Hamas's foreign affairs spokesman. Kathy. Thanks, John.